Hi everyone, uh, my name is uh, Miloš Řábek. I'm the Development Director here in Minsk on World of Tanks uh, PC. And uh, we have some uh, news about our new keyboard. We were playing uh, for a long time with actually the idea of, uh, of a battle of many tanks at the same time. You know, something something where actually it's not only 15-15, but there's actually massive push towards one place, having a feeling of, uh, of a great battle. So we started developing this mode after we decided to create and test a big map, integrate this technology into World of Tanks, and accordingly increase the number of players who battle on one map, on one arena. Previously, our limitation was 15-15 on a map of a size maximum of one kilometer to one kilometer. Right now, in, in a new mode that we will be actually testing on Sandbox, uh, our maintenance are going up. So the mode will be 30-30 uh, with a map uh, almost of a size of nine normal maps. So we are talking about huge scale combat uh, with uh, various scenarios for, bo uh, for both sides. It's actually attack versus defense. One side is actually defending a uh, landing on, on the beach. It should almost uh, uh, remain as the Omaha Beach, or like the situation from uh, from the D-Day when the, the Allies were actually coming to uh, coming to the Europe. We started looking into how can we actually scale up the team while um, you know using more experience from other studios, basically bringing the experience from outside uh, to the World of Tanks. Uh, and Bongfish was actually one, one of the great teams to, uh, to do so. Over the years we worked together with various great partners like Namco, Red Bull, Microsoft and now with Wargame. Bongfish had great experience with, uh, with making games and uh, I think the strategic partnership to work with them on the new mode forward attempts uh, was a really good decision. We don't treat them like outside partners. They're part of the team. For us, they're like our colleagues here in Minsk, only they're physically located in a different place. All of our teams, including level design specialists, developers and game designers, they all collaborate closely with these guys. They have recurrent meetings and go to see each other. We travel to see them, and other times the guys travel to Minsk to see us. We are passionate about authentic gameplay in vast open spaces, and because we share this passion with Wargaming, we have a great partnership on this. So, of course, when, when we actually started working, uh, not everyone on, uh, on Bonfi's side was World of Tanks player. But I must say that changed really quickly. Um, I, I spoke with many of their guys. Uh, they visited us here, we visited us uh, in, in Graz, and I must say that the team loves tanks. They they are really World of Tanks players. You know, they they have the heart in the right place. They understand the tanks. They understand the mentality of of the players, how they play. They are players on their on their own right now, and that's a great thing. They all have developer accounts, and they all play World of Tanks. They take part in all play tests, and usually, almost their entire team joins us on such occasions. If we have a play test, all Bongfish guys attend it. So what we done at Bongfish is uh, we already used existing uh, features, existing technologies from the Big World engine and enabled them for the big maps. Let's be honest, as every single uh, new thing at the beginning was a bit clashy, there were problems, it, it wasn't smooth, but right now I'm super happy. Like our engineers are really happy to work with them, the level designers are actually working with Bongfish almost like it will be their, uh, our own team. It's, uh, uh, the, the, the cooperation is great and Bongfish is actually doing a great job on uh, working on a mode and understanding of World of Tanks. Occasionally we are having discussions about the play, a discussion about the new features and uh, they are always content, they are always on the, on the top of the, uh, on the game and you know, telling us immediately like, their feedback, what they would do, how they will actually integrate it to the, uh, to the mode. It is great cooperation and um, I, I'm really happy to, uh, to see the guys on board. Why are we rolling it out in Sandbox? There are two goals for us here. First of all, we need to gather a bulk of data. We need it for all things related to game balance, map balance, so that we can look at the numbers and see, okay, so players can't move further here, something isn't right, their attack gets blocked. Or learn, for instance, that in, let's say, 30% of situations, the attacking side loses. Secondly, we really need to collect feedback from players. 
As developers, we're too immersed in our project. We work on these features, process countless iterations, and see all these things so many times that we might lose touch with reality at some point. For this reason, we need detached and impartial feedback from the people who play our game, because we're making this game for them. Sandbox is intended for our core audience, our most loyal fans. Our hardcore players who always strive to improve the project. Right now we're rolling it out in the sandbox to see if players will enjoy it. We want to understand if it's exciting and learn how much time our players are willing to spend on this new mode. I, I believe that Sandbox is a great platform. It actually provides us all the information we need from players. Um, I you know I'm a player of my own. I, when I started six years ago, a little bit more in actually the time of closed beta on European server, um, I still remember the times when we were actually sending feedback to developers, talking with them on the forums and discussing the new features, new systems that were coming in play. I really would love to bring this back home. I would love to bring the connection between developer and the gamer to the back to where it was actually six years ago, where developer, the players actually felt like, hey, by providing my feedback, I can actually change something. We need the player's feedback. Currently, the mode includes one big map, with an area of 3 by 3 kilometers. Each team has 30 players, so there are 60 players in a battle overall. There'll be no economy for now, we'll work on it later. The map available in the sandbox is still a prototype, it's not a final version. It'll be further improved and the release version will be different. Of course, the distinction won't be too drastic, but certainly, those who try it in sandbox and then play it after the release, they'll notice the changes made to the map. For them, those changes will be apparent and very visible. And we have most of the core mechanics implemented. So there is the respawn, there is a system of pushing the bases, unlocking uh, bombardment in case that you actually take over a base and the, the, and the enemy actually needs to push back uh, the defender. During the battle, you'll have a strategic map and you can use it to plan out your battle. We've designed the game in such a way that there is a front line there. At the beginning of the battle, only one line is available to a player. To unlock other lines, players must capture all bases. Players will see, right on the tactical map, which zones are already available to them, which zones are still closed, which zones have been captured, and which zones have been unlocked. It is of key importance for this mode that we manage to create dynamic battles, thanks to specific gameplay elements like time limits, points of interest, and objectives that we set for players. These features push players to keep moving forward without stalling. During internal tests, this trait was noted as one of the most positive features of the game mode. It's really the fierce tank action that we strive for. Extremely fun to play, players always have opponents to fight, and there are so many strategic and tactical decisions to make. The game really is cool thanks to all these things. We don't yet know how this mode will look in production. This is why we need Sandbox, to check how players feel about this mode, how they feel about the gameplay, and how much time they're willing to spend on it. Well, uh, thank you very much for listening, guys. Uh, I would like to say one last thing. Please send us your feedback. Play the game, play the sandbox, and send us what you think, because this is really important for us. This is the way how not only us, but we together can actually create the game. We can work on the future patches and make sure that the game is great. Thank you very much for your time, and see you on the battlefield.